welcome back to my channel if you're new here welcome today i want to show you how i customize my home screen by creating different focus modes and giving each of the focus a different look so if that's something that you're interested in let's get into it i want to set up a different home screen for each of the focus modes that i'm going to be creating today and to do that i will need a page for each of the focus groups so i'm going to add a widget to each one of the pages and the end result will look something like this. The first thing I'm going to do is go to settings and focus. From here, you can customize the preset focus groups. I'm going to use the plus sign to create my own. I want to create a focus group for work, creativity, planning time, and relaxation. Oh, and there's one more focus group that I'm going to create and I'm going to set it up as main and I'll show you why I'm doing this one later. Under customize screens, I'm going to choose one of the home screen pages that I added earlier. I'm going to do this for each of the focus. Now I'm gonna to go to Pinterest and find some wallpapers that I wanna use. You will need a wallpaper for each focus profile that you're customizing. Once you have all of your wallpapers, you wanna to go to the Photos app and save each one of the photos in a separate album. Label them so you'll know which one is which. So I'm going to do background one, two, three, and four, and then my main background. This step is important so you'll be able to pull the wallpaper later on. Now open the Shortcuts app and go to Automation. Select Personal Automation and then scroll down and choose one of the focus modes you want to create. Make sure when turning on is selected, then go to Next. Select Add Action and then enter Find Photos. Select Add Filter and then choose the album of the background that you want to use. In the search for apps and action, type Set Wallpaper Photo. Select the circle next to the photo and turn off Show Preview. Now select lock screen and home screen and uncheck lock screen and then select done. Select the play symbol at the bottom and then select next. Make sure to turn off ask before running so it will go straight to the focus. Now I'm gonna speed things up a little and set up the automation for the other focus modes that I wanna create. I hope you enjoy the music. So once I set up all the focus modes and turn one on and then turned it off, I noticed that it kept the background of the focus and all the screens came back. So now I have my original home screen and I have all the home screens that will be set up for the focus groups. I don't want that. So now I'm going to create another automation to go back to my main screen view. Thank you. 
Now I'm gonna select each of the focus modes and add widgets and apps that I wanna use while I'm in that focus to my home screen. I'm gonna start with the relaxation focus. For this focus, I'm gonna add the Kindle app. I'm going to go in and I'm going to add this MD Vinyl. And what I like about this app is it connects or syncs to my Spotify. And while I'm playing the music, the actual disc of the song rotates while you're playing it. So I thought that was pretty cool and I wanted that on this screen. I also added the flip clock and I added the battery so I could keep a watch on how much charge I had on my pencil and my iPad. And now I'm just going in and adding some apps that I watch for just for fun. Um, my social media apps, YouTube, Hulu, Netflix, just the things that I like to do when I'm not working on my iPad, just enjoying relaxation time basically. Now I'm going to use the Widgetsmith app and add in some quotes and photos that I've got from Pinterest just to remind me that take time and relax. I love this one with the quote that says, relax your mind, renew your body, and revive the soul. And this is the finished look of this focus. Now let's work on the planning time focus. The first thing I'm going to do is go into the Reminds app and I'm going to make a new list and label this one Affirmations. And I'm going to my, I'm going to add some affirmations just for self-motivation for myself. I love adding affirmations to my templates for my daily planning, for my weekly planning, and I figured this would be a good way for me to have a affirmation list on my home screen so I can look at it on a daily basis. So the affirmations that I've decided to add are, every decision I make is the right one for me. I am becoming the very best version of myself. And the last one is I breathe in confidence and I exhale fear. Now that I've created that list in the Reminds app, I can go back to my home screen and I can add the widget for the Reminds and then I'm gonna use this second size. Once you have the widget selected, you'll go in and then edit the widget and you can select the list that you want to use for that widget. Now I'm gonna use the Widgetsmith app and I'm gonna go in and add some quotes and photos to this home screen. I'm also gonna use the widget for the calendar from uh, Widgetsmith and also the time or the clock from Widgetsmith because I like the neutral tones of those. There is a photo that I'm going to add to this and it's an actual photo of my iPad mini on my desk and I just think that's a good representation for planning time. I didn't have to go on Pinterest and find a picture of an iPad when I could just use my own for motivation. I'm also going to add the widget for the calendar to this home screen and I'm going to add the MD vinyl widget to this screen. I actually think I put MD vinyl on most of my home pages just because I like to listen to music while I work, while I plan, while I just music is therapeutic in itself. So why not put it on my home screen? Another widget that I'm going to add is the battery widget to this home screen. And I think I forgot to mention this earlier, but one thing about these home screens that is a plus is that you can use the same apps as you can see, I've used them multiple times on different home screens. So there, you can have different combinations and using the same apps like the vinyl MD and the battery. I put that on a couple home screens already and it's no problem. I'm also going to add a widget for Notion to this home screen. And the last thing I want to add to this home screen will be a quick link to my digital planner. So I'm going to use the shortcuts app and I'm going to take a picture of the cover for my planner. I'm going to use this cover because I feel like it matches well with the background and goes with the whole vibe of this planning time focus. And that's it for this home screen setup. Now let's set up the creativity focus. For this one, I'm going to use a few of the widgets I've already used like flip clock. I'm going to put my calendar widget on here and I'm also going to do the MD vinyl. One thing I forgot to mention about the MD vinyl, if you hold on the widget, you can go in and change the background. You can change the color of the background to match whatever look that you're going for. Now I'm going to add a widget in from the Stoic app and I'm going to use the widget for the daily affirmation. And the last widget that I'm gonna to add to this home screen will be the one for YouTube. Now I'm gonna go in and add the apps that I use for creativity, for creating digital planners, stickers, um, just whenever I'm in my creative mode, those are the apps that I typically go to. I'm gonna put all of them where I can easily access them.
Now I'm gonna go in and rearrange the app some so I like the look of it and that's the creative focus. The last focus group I'm gonna set up will be for work. I'm gonna go into the Reminds app and create another list. This one is gonna be my to-do list so I can keep a running tab of everything that I need to get done. Um, I'm just gonna use this for my top priorities. So I know that I need to work on the planner that I'm currently working on and stickers. So I'm gonna add those to my to-do list. I'm gonna use the Stoic app again to add in a daily quote. Edit widgets in for Vinyl MD, the Calendar app, Notes app, YouTube, Notion, and the battery. And now I'm just gonna go in and add all the apps to my home screen that I use while I'm working so I can access them quickly. This is my setup for the work focus. All right, y'all, that's it for this video. Hopefully you found this helpful. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe so you get notifications of my new videos and I will talk to you next time.